Hey everyone and welcome to this week's update. I hope that you and your families are well. So, cold weather, it looks like it's approaching. Um, and first of all, please make sure that you at home are looking after yourselves. Uh, with that but equally um, as a school we will let you know as soon as possible unless you hear otherwise school is open and we will remain to be open for as much as possible because we all know that school attendance is one of the biggest and most important things we can get. Over the last couple of weeks there's been a lot of noise nationally around school attendance you know I talk about it a lot making sure that we are in school every single day that is the best way for students for children to achieve. And um, it's really interesting our school attendance pattern. So we are just slightly below national, about one and a half percent below national. We even, we're not normally that. Before COVID, we were two or three percent above national. All the time, our school, the Halifax Academy, has been above national for just about every single indicator. Attendance is where it's marked. And what's interesting is it's about the older the children get, the less free, frequent they come into school. So when we look at our attendance data, we can see that actually our primary school is doing brilliantly. When it's around primary families getting killed children in school, it is excellent. Seven and eight are doing really, really well. It could be better, but we're getting there. Now, what's interesting is years nine, 10 and 11 is it starts to dip down. Just that bit where children get a bit older, you might load to work, you might drop them off, you might say, right, you've got to get yourselves to school. That is when it starts to drop off. And what's interesting with our school is it's actually... Our attendance pattern goes Monday, it's not very good. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, it goes really well. And then Friday, it drops again. And we really need your help for that. So you can see on the screen at the moment that um, we have got, I've just put it in a graph, last week's attendance data. And you can see that pattern where Monday isn't quite as strong. It picks up Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday in secondary school. And then it drops off again on Friday, especially for those older students. And that's where we need your help. In the exam years, and in year 10, we've got the art exam that's come out recently. So I know that students are working on the art exam that has been given to them. That's really important, as well as in year 11. And then we've got the GCSEs, 14 weeks now until the GCSE exams. If they're missing a Friday, that is eight hours of learning being missed. And that's a massive impact on their chance of success. What we've done is we've looked at those students who are succeeding and they have a much higher attendance than those children who aren't. It is that related. So please, please, please make sure that we are putting pressure on especially old ones to come to school on that Friday, even if they're not feeling 100%. And I know it's easy not to do that. I know it's easy to say, it's all right, just stay at home, get some work done. But there's nothing like being in front of um, your teachers um, to get that learning going. So please support us with that. Massively important. Now, um, as we unfortunately had to uh, last week of term last year, we had to cancel our walk to Gaza. Now, we are hoping to run this on Thursday, this Thursday coming. Now, obviously, this is weather permitting. It is meant to be quite a clear day, but it could change. So, uh, all being well, we're going to do this sponsored work on Thursday, sponsored walk, sorry, on Thursday, but we may have to postpone it, but we will let you know about that. But again, we've had some incredibly generous donations already. One family over £100 they donated. Um, please make sure it is make sure you, that you can afford it. Um, we're just doing our bit to try and support those innocent victims in Palestine um, who have had their lives absolutely ruined by what is going on. Um, thank you to very much to all the Year 10 parents who came in. It was lovely to see so many of you uh, last week. And also, uh, we've got that, as I say, 14 weeks now to go until the GCSE exams start. It's about 12 weeks until the Year 6 SAT start. So we're really in that uh, process of leading up to the exams and making sure that they are the best exams possible. And they are looking really, really strong. So again, all the support. We've got lots and lots of intervention going on. Biggest thing that you can do at home is support us, is making sure your children are in school. And finally, um, just to say that reception places closes on, I think it's on Thursday the 18th. Or they might, no, it might be Monday actually, sorry, it's the 15th. So there's still a tiny, tiny window for families. We have had more places than ever before in reception. So um, you can see that we're really, really popular throughout the school and it's really important. If you know anybody who's wanting to apply and they haven't already, please do support them to apply. Get them to phone into school if, if they don't know how and we will support them as much as possible. So that's it from me. Massive push on attendance. That's what we really need support with. School's really calm, really focused first week, really, really successful. Students have been excellent at getting into lessons on time, like we said. We've got music now around the building which uh, in the secondary, which helps to um, time the lesson transitions. That's been really successful. And I look forward to seeing everybody on Monday morning. Take care, everyone.